All right. Do the thing. They're about to <laughs> start playing, and here's the team sheets. We're gonna see um, Gastrodon and Durant, the the ant, um, Gyarados, Fake Bird, um, the horse, Mudsdale, an Arcanine, Barky Boy, the dog, and Grimmsnarl, the goblin. The weird darkest warrior. Animated. Yes. <laughs> Darudon, the building, Charizard, the fake bird, Dragapult, the spooky dragon. <laughs> The Lawnmower, Whimsicott the Cotton Ball, and another fake dragon, Gyarados. Fake, f fake bird. All these fake birds. And we'll see how that matchup leads here. Because I needed a new deck for my backpack. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> if, it, if you let time go out, it would have worked anyway. <laughs> All right. Here we go. I think Keegan's um, trader card is better out here. That's the real decider. <laughs> All right. We're on the ice, fi ice stadium here. We have Charizard and Whimsicott. Very big contrast to the ice stadium. Mudsdale Grimmsnarl on the other side. We're gonna see what comes out right here. I really like that. <laughs> the plain purple, though. Uh, okay. The Mudsdale is very bulky, so we gotta watch out for that. And Grimmsnarl has some sneaky strategies too. But Whimsicott, Whimsicott is is a big cotton ball that is just full of joy, but dies to anything. <laughs> he's full of he's full of joy. <laughs> I don't know. Here we are in round 16. I think it's not full of joy anymore. <laughs> <laughs> the big horse has emerged. <laughs> the biggest horse you've ever seen. There's got to be the best horse I've ever seen. Yes. I do say so. Tailwind coming from the, coming from the whim. All right, and what are we seeing? We're seeing a light screen to protect from special attacks on the Grim, on the Keegan side here. And Max Rockfall coming out, gonna kick, kick a and is gonna land on that lawnmower and deal hmm, a little o under half in terms of HP. And uh, Whimsicott is gonna take some chip from that sandstorm that was set by everybody except Mudsdale. That horse doesn't care about anyone except himself because he is the grandest of horses. <laughs> Swagger coming out on on Grimmsnarl to boost it's his own Mudsdale, but own tempo prevents the confusion. And what is coming out? Moonblast coming from Whimsicott. Is it going to be Grimmsnarl going to be able to live that? Yeah, very well. So it's only t it's half. Will-O-Wisp going to be putting on the on that Mudsdale, gonna burn, gonna neglect that swagger at the beginning. Sorry about that. Um, he's gonna get a max steel spike, gonna get just def kill the whim right there. Con ball is down, <laughs> full of pain. <laughs> that poor ball of right on, the no, on, the, on the ice. I know it's like it's not. It's already a bad place for Whimsicott in the first place, you know, being on the icy rink ice rink maybe they do some hockey can you imagine some pokemon hockey going on pink urine oh my god oh sliding pink urine sliding pre no sliding that would snom. Hurt. yeah snom i like snom better as the pug yes oh, that's fair all right gyarados coming out getting that impossible intimidate right here and there it is the intimidate own tempo preventing that intimidate from coming out but gonna lower grimmsnarl's attack We're gonna see that. Let's see what happens with um, Keegan's third Dynamax turn. Right about here. Why are you weird and then you kind of like, oh. Ooh, is that a friend ball I see? That is a friend. 
Gyarados the best friend has emerged. <laughs> Gyarados is a friend of Sam's. But is it enough to take down that ally switch? Gonna come out. Let's see what happens. Reflect coming in to, pr to pr block off. And Max Airstream coming out of, from Gyarados. And it's going to take out the Grim. No! Take out the Grim. <laughs> <laughs> the Goblin is still alive. This commentator is really sad. <laughs> What, you don't know your damage count? No, it's not sorry. <laughs> Max Rockfall is going to come down on that on that Rotom is still going to do probably another third. It's going to be a 3, -o, three hit KO. 3 hit KO. Grim Snarl is still holding on. You got to be... All right, let's see what happens. We have a lawnmower and fake, and a fake bird versus a horse and a goblin. Sw sw swagger coming up on the Mudsdale. Let's see what happens. Own tempo preventing that confusion once again. And Max Geyser coming out, likely on that Mudsdale. Mudsdale is extremely tanky though, and doesn't even it takes about half. But the rain has been set now. However. What could be coming out from that? Do we see a, a thunderbolt likely on that Grimmsnarl? And that Grimmsnarl is finally down after so many hits. But Mudsdale's rock sliding is going to do a lot of damage. It's going to take out that Rotom and do over half to Gyarados. Critical hit on that Gyarados. <laughs> yep. Tailwind is finally out. So we now have a Keegan has still has three Pokemon on his side. Well, Gyarados, Gyarados is the other side of this battle right now. Another we'll see. <laughs> Intimidate is going to lower the attack of that Gyarados. Do limit what damage it can do, and the rain is not going to help that Charizard out either. That Gyarados on Sam's side may have been a double-edged sword with a uh, by setting rain. <laughs> Max Geyser coming out in the rain going to do a lot more damage even though that attack drop occurred likely and yes I'm going to finish off that Mudsdale <laughs> alright let's see an air slash coming from Charizard trying to get that flinch and does about a good but does not stop the flinch does not flinch and the waterfall is going to take out that Charizard in the rain get that boost Beast, boost, beast, boost. We have no beast boost in this meta, unfortunately. Shame. <laughs> All right, another intimidate. There it is on from the and the Dynamax turns have been eliminated. So it's Gear Sam's Gyarados at minus two versus the world. Waterfall from that Gyarados on that Arcanine. Going to do only ha a little under half. Will-O-Wisp going to burn that. Seal the <laughs> seal Gyarados' doom in terms of attack. It is not doing any more damage this turn. However, it does get... It has a Lumberry to get off, to slack off that burn. Big brain. Big brain. But that Power Whip is going to finish it off. And first game will go to Keegan. Keegan, by the way, if you win, I want you commentating with me tomorrow. <laughs> if you're there. No. No, you don't. <laughs> you don't have we'll homework. We'll do it for you. Stop. Don't even go to school. <laughs> <laughs> no, school's not necessary. School's for nerds. But here's the thing. But during registration, you can do homework instead of... Oh. Yeah. No, I oh. <laughs> so what did you have to do tomorrow? Do you have a hot date? No. <laughs> 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 oh, just a whale. It's working on it. Go. Go, go, go. 
Waiting on that next round, round two. I really like that you don't have to touch the switch. Like, I haven't hit the joy cause in like three rounds. And it's only because they mess up. Blame the players. Always. Never my fault. All right, finals. Okay, one time it was. Keegan is 1 0. Let's see what's going to happen here as a new set is going to emerge. All right, let's see what happens here. Both members are still waiting on team preview. Oh, here we are. Round two, fight. Both in the fighting stance. However, snow is more important. <laughs> They're playing on Sir Chester Stadium. Of course snow is more important. Yep. Dragapult and Rhoda. I don't know how she's not slipping on those ice with her shoe. I know. Intimidate, going in clear body, you're gonna prevent that intimidate, but the intimidate will go through for that Rotom. <laughs> and for, but it doesn't How really matter. How many times can you say intimidate in one sentence? Seven. The Mudsdale. <laughs> so we have horse and dog versus a mower and a, and a well, no more horse. They switched out. Horse becomes a, is switched into a goblin. So goblin, a goblin, and stealth bomber versus stealth bomber and a mower versus a goblin and, and a dog. <laughs> I don't understand. Safeguard, keeping its keeping your Pokemon safe from Will O Wisp. Interesting turn, both. See both of these contenders. Rotom switching out actually. Into Gyarados. Here comes the Intimidate once more. <laughs> Very shiny Gyarados in his. Dynamax, Dynamax Dragapult's coming out. Is something. We'll see if Keegan has something to combat it. It is a plus. It has plus one attack and plus one speed. It's one point five times boost. And now Max Speed Steel Spike going into the Grimmsnarl slot. Ooh, full KO after that, and the defense boost is going to occur for both Dragapult and Gyarados there. And the Dragapult is. Will-O-Wisp returning, putting on that Dragapult, weakening its ability to do more damage. All right, Mudsdale coming out. Feeling quite comfortable in our position. We have some yelling going off in the background. I don't know. That's oh my god. god. The, we usually make all of our tradition, but I don't really? know. It might take a little long. Yeah. yeah. We need something fast casual. All right, let's get. Our guy's gonna switch out. I, w I would prefer. I would prefer Chipotle or Kidoba because that Kidoba does not. Oh, that Kidoba. Well, no, Kidoba in general just does not do it in my body. Oh, I prefer Kidoba. Well, I think there's Chipotle nearby. There's not Kidoba. No. I don't know. We'll see. You know what we can go to? Canes. Oh my gosh. But we'll I can eat canes almost we'll, every we'll, day. We'll, we'll look it up after. Okay. okay. So Mudsdale, the big horse, is becoming a bigger horse. Thank you. And he's now bigger. He is now bigger than you. <laughs> Ineligible for Tiny Cup. Yep. <laughs> Max, Dar Max Ghost going into the Gyarados, but not enough damage to take it out. The fence drop for, for the Mudsdale. <laughs> Good. And there's a berry on on um, the Keegan's Gyarados here. Let's see, it's a citrus berry, so it only does a little, it's just a smidge. Waterfall coming out. I'm going to hit that mud. No, that Gyarados, not enough to finish it off. But that uh, berry definitely helped out. Max Quake coming from 
Mudsdale doing a not too bad amount of damage, but not. It's gonna boost that special defense, which is important. Sixteen out of ten with that speed. No breaks for Josh. <laughs> nope, none for me at all. I am the wackiest and zaniest character on commentating. Probably not. That's probably a lie, but. Mm-hmm. All right, Max Wormwind gonna lower the attack on Mudsdale, and is going both Mudsdale and Gyarados, which is not gonna help a lot. But that was the that was the last turn for Dragapult. Um, Ice Fang coming out, going to hit that Dragapult. It's gonna take a bit of damage, not not great because of that extra um, <laughs> Dragon <laughs> Dragon Dance coming up on that. That's the second Dragon Dance we've seen from Sam's side. Max Rockfall coming up on on the Gyarados is gonna it's gonna do about half. Sandstorm is also gonna get set up. Seems also like the Spider Man. Yep. Dragapult is done with its Dynamax though. That is important to know. That burn Dragapult, it's it's still doing work, but not not as much as it could. And the Mudsdales is holding on for quite a bit. Still one one or two turns of Dynamax. I think only one, but let's see what come um, what Keegan does to combat this combo after losing some of its attack the previous turn. And we see a Dragon Claw coming out from Dragapult, gonna knock out that Gyarados. Um, and what are we gonna see from this Gyarados? Waterfall, gonna do, ooh, about half, but not enough. Max Rockfall is gonna return and knock out that Gyarados. And now it, we have 2v2 returning, and we're gonna see. <laughs> What happens here in this in this final round against we have Rota Mo, Arc Rota Mo Arcanine coming in. So depending on what happens, it, it could be advantageous. It's at, it, it's it could be e either or depending on what happens this game. Oh wait, I forgot about Charizard in the back. You're right. I it's not Rota Mo, is it? No, there is Rota Mo. There's all, Sam has three Mons. Sam actually has the advantage. I did not realize it. I thought Sam had two Pokemon. I thought. Small brain. You're right. All right. Let's see. Dragon Claw coming out of Dragapult once more. Gonna do even solid damage even after like being burned and at minus four. It's like it's kind of absurd almost. Heat wave connecting on both. Mudsdale, not enough. That's why you run flash fire. Yeah. Sorry, I can't touch it. Snarl gonna do lower its special attack. And both both are buffeted by the sandstorm. Buffeted. Buffeted. Yes, buffeted. Yes. Josh is really hungry. I am hungry. No. No. Nope. There's the video. It was like seven. Or was it seven or one? Yeah. One, one viewer. Who is the one? Is it the video itself? I don't know. Who are you? 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 Who are and it's going to do 65, or leave it at 65, but it, okay. Rotom has its own berry. I'll see you when I see you. <laughs> Thunderbolt is going to finish off that Arcanine. Game two will go to Sam. And now we're going to game three of finals. <laughs> we'll see how this last game will go. Uh, Jonathan Turner? I am. 
was the head judge. Of you try to speak for like you make fun of me, but you try to speak for. Dude, like, I've done this hours. before. I don't know. I used to be a swim. Te- I was a swim team commentator. Ew. Ew. I was like, this is the worst job yeah. ever because it's like, cool. They're they're swimming fast and. How do you even? We commented in mostly on like the tech suit, like uh, explaining tech suits, strokes, how people have better their. Sh- I, I was so bad. I was like, why are we doing commentary on this? And there shouldn't be done any commentary on this. It's yeah. Well, there's there's actual tech suits. It's just when academic. you have you have to right, get into high level play. All right, game. Here we are. Do you want me to start Final. With you? This I is the researching commentary. Maybe. <laughs> Final PC. Final PC. round of the PC. This is the last team preview we'll see today. Dun, dun. The people dun. are ecstatic. <laughs> All of Whoa. So Whoa. 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 The room is just well, infectious. It's, it's off. One <laughs> infectious <laughs> like the coronavirus. It <laughs> is. <laughs> 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 I'm in danger. <laughs> you in danger, girl. <laughs> oh my gosh. Here we I are. What they're gonna bring. Hmm. We have seen some interesting stuff, but we, we didn't see the ants. We haven't seen the ants. But <laughs> who knows? I mean, the only true thing that he has to be afraid of is the corn dog. So why don't you bring the ants? You know what beats that scary face from Stop? There's a scary face for Charizard and then there's a Michael Speed Boost being connected to Zellin and then you got Intimidate own tempo preventing that Grim Snarl coming out Sam may have had a good lead here. Who knows? <laughs> and he's wearing shorts and an ice cream. Yeah, well, what, what is he doing? Must be really cold. God. He, ha- no, he his head is very warm. His head is warm. That's what's important. <laughs> Extremities don't matter. <laughs> Got to keep that brain having that blood circulation. And he has to contain his um his big brain, you know. Yeah. Don't shoot the glasses before. It's true. Gyarados coming out. Bye, Gyarados. Bye. Rotom is coming in his place. I wonder if the Rotom's going to try to burn something. Maybe. Oh, we're seeing Dynamax Dragapult once more. It's time from a, that's a level ball, I believe. Ball guy has taught me well. <laughs> <laughs> that moment when you don't get a flame. Just out of curiosity, did you try to do the level ball so that if it was a shiny Dragapult, the yellow would match the yellow of the Dragapult? Yeah, that's awesome. Ah, uh, because the V kind of looks like the grass. Yeah. All right, there's Dynamax Mudsdale coming out. <coughs> Here we are, big horse. I'm gonna take my horse. Recorders of Pokedex. No. Destroy streets in Alola. Because of its weight and size. Yep. Why? Why is Mudsdale heavier than Duraludon? That's the real question. Also, Why is Mudsdale heavier than Stone Juror? <laughs> because he's a big chunky man. But bigger than heavier than Stone Age? Sorry. Yes. Yeah. Have you ever tried to lift a stone? Have you ever tried to lift a horse? Have All right, the big horse versus the big stealth bomber. Who will win? We'll see a swagger coming from the Grim Snarl. Own tempo. Now Max Steel Spike coming out. Probably gonna take that Grim Snarl once it's it's gone from the field. It's gonna be hard to to deal with. And that Mac, the defense boost is gonna go up for what's it? Um. For Dragapult and Rotom. Dragapult's gonna lose some of the with the lowest. Gonna contradict that um, swagger boost. As Max Rockfall is gonna come out. 
and is going to do a little bit more chip onto that Dragapult, but not enough to, to def take it out. Rotom, is, everything is buffeted by the Sandstorm. That judge lied. <laughs> Arcanine comes out. Clear body is going to activate this thing lower, but Arcanine is a little bit of a threat to that Rotom, so gotta watch out for that. I can understand why they had six four counters. Yes. Yes. Yeah. No, it, it would it, you get exhausted. All right, Max Wormwind coming out from the Dragapult Blower, uh, the attack of Mudsdale and Arcanine. But Arcanine is shown to be special using that Flamethrower instead. Likely throwing out a Snarl here this turn. And there it is, that Snarl. Going to do some chip on both. And there goes some special attack from Thunderbolt going into that Arcanine slot. It's gonna live. It's gonna get to end up. It's eating its pinch berry. It's gonna get up quite a bit of health. Max Steel Spike coming out from. Gonna get some more defense. Not enough to kill the Dragapult though. But maybe the Sandstorm combined with the with the burn might help. Oh wait, Dragapult's not burned. What am I talking about? <laughs> See other Pokemon that is burned. All right, both the Dragapult and um, Mudsdale have used up their Dynamax turns. So now they are back to their regular horse. Regular horse and regular Stealth Bomber. It was good play. Good play, Zane. And now we're you know, the TCG players are coming out and they're being very loud. Yep. Remember, guys, T VGC is better than TCG. That's a fact. <laughs> Dragon Claw coming out from the Dragapult. Is that going to end up getting KO? No. Will not get the KO. Dragapult will die to its own life orb. What's happening? Flamethrower coming out of from Arcanine. We're going to do a, quite a bit of damage into that Rotom. And it's going to eat its Citrus Berry to get a little bit more health. What is Mudsdale going to end up doing? Leaf Storm coming out of... Uh, going to go right into that Mudsdale. It's going to do almost nothing. Lure its special attack. Close combat going to do quite a bit of damage. Not enough. No, Gyarados hasn't come out yet. This is an interesting situation that has ensued. <laughs> Gyarados come out, we're going to intimidate both Arcanine and, but not Mudsdale because of on tempo. But we'll see what happens in this situation here. Everything, uh, the TCG players are being very loud once again, very inconsiderate. Well, they're getting out of here, so that's all I care about, you know. <laughs> Hopefully, we won't be able, we won't be dealing with them tomorrow, at least. We're having some shenanigans on the right of me. Um, it'll be interesting to see what happens in this situation. Mudsdale is not doing very well. Oh, Geruladon will be that last mon. <coughs> Bounce from the gear. Be the move from Gyarados. I know some of I want some of Gyarados that run Bounce Power Herb. Bounce Power Herb? That's weird. That's a strange one. You want to really get that flying type move off. Then he like one shot my um, Whimsicott and I was like, okay. <laughs> okay then. Okay. 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 Alright, let's see. <laughs> let's see what happens with that. Gyarados is going to protect here. It's gonna, Thunderbolt's going to come in. Not going to do anything against the Gyarados now that it is. Bounce is going to go. And wow. 
going to both go for the Gyarados. Gyarados protects. High horsepower coming from Mudsdale. Going to do some solid damage. Oh. Knock it down to four. Yes, he is. And now we're going to see what happens in this. As we're going to see Gyarados protect, but it failed, unfortunately. Thunderbolt's going to come out and it's going to knock out that Gyarados. And we're going to likely see maybe a rock slide here from the Mudsdale if, if it can get it off after this waterfall. No, the waterfall is very strong. Yeah, the Mudsdale. Yeah. Oh, flinch from the waterfall is going to give you <laughs> flinch did matter there unfortunately Sparky boy. Sparky boy, no. Sparky boy. it's not looking good for Keegan here his Pokemon are very low in health who knows what could happen. Snarl is going to come out. Be the final chip on Darulodon. Can take it out. Not special attack. Unfortunately. Waterfall going to knock out that Mudsdale. All that's left is... Um, yeah, Wild Charge could come out. And... The recoil, though, would end up. This would be very. This is a very difficult situation. Flamethrower coming out. All right, and that's game. Sam has won the PC here. We did it. It is finally over. Good job, everyone. Thanks all. We'll be here. At, we'll be at the. We'll be at the 